How do you know no one followed you? They think I'm in a yoga class. Trust me, he's very good at this. This is no way to live. They keep asking me questions over and over. They don't stop coming back. I promise you, you're safe. I don't feel it. I, I don't feel it. I should have never agreed to this. Kareem, tell me what this is really about. I've paid you well every week. What good is that to me if I'm dead, huh? Look what happened to the all safe guy. They could kill me too. I should have never got mixed up with you. I should have just came clean from the jump. <laughs> My husband will return soon, and this will all be over. Listen, I'm gonna keep telling your story, all right? But if shit goes down and I get busted, I'm not gonna get locked up, you feel me? They lowered the daily allowance to 50 bucks a day. There's no way to live. I can't live like that. Speak. Ma'am, we're running low on funds. I don't know how much longer we can afford. E Corp still hasn't released your husband's severance package. The FBI was specifically told not to put a hold on it's any of that It's not the FBI, ma'am. Can't afford to keep this guy quiet. I'm done with this topic. Hello, Scott. Why the fuck are you in my home? Your housekeeper let me in. There seems to be a problem with my husband's severance package. That sounds like an issue for HR. Yes. I've spoken to them already. Several times, in fact. They claim they can't release it yet. Yeah, there seems to be a problem for me, too. I can't seem to find the person who murdered my wife. Bureaucracy is a bitch, right? You want my husband. I can understand that. And I would like the money I'm owed. So why don't we help each other then? I'll testify my husband didn't come home that night of the murder. I left the party alone. Didn't see him till the next day. I'll agree to that if you release the severance package. <laughs> I need that money. I have a baby. Baby gets what it deserves. Nothing. You, me, in Madrid, walking down Calle Toca, sitting at Cafe Toyeri, having a cortado. I have some friends who have a vineyard on the coast. They would love you. You know, during the harvest, everyone goes there. It's beautiful that time of year. <clears throat> What's wrong? 
Was it something I said? Madrid. Do you really think you'll ever afford you'll ever afford that? Well, maybe not now, but like, hey, once I get my DJ career going, like a lot of times they they give you free trips. Like for the jobs, and I I could take you. Derek, do you know why I'm with you? Why I'm dating you? You're a bartender. You make $15 an hour. You're never gonna be able to take me to Madrid. You're never gonna be able to afford to take me anywhere. You won't be able to give me anything I want out of life. But I've had all those things before. And they never make me happy. That's why I love you. You're not any of that. And I don't need you to be anything more than you are. 